Princess Catherine shocked by King Charles's firm decision regarding Prince George and Princess Charlotte during their discussion about the future of the monarchy amidst the turmoil caused by cancer. The British monarchy has long stood as a symbol of continuity, tradition, and stability. However, recent developments have cast a shadow of uncertainty over its future. King Charles and Princess Catherine, two prominent members of the royal family, are believed to be facing significant health challenges. Reports suggest that both are battling cancer, a situation that has intensified discussions about the succession and the monarchy's ability to adapt to these personal crises. Although King Charles is believed to be battling cancer, his appearance at the Easter Day service did little to ease concerns about the immediate future of the monarchy. Meanwhile, after a significant absence from royal duties, Princess Catherine made a surprising announcement on March 22 regarding her health. Her surgery was successful, the test results revealed she had cancer. She shared this news with a heartfelt statement to the public. However, she is currently doing well and undergoing pre-chemotherapy. Prince William faced even greater challenges when both his wife and mother received cancer diagnoses. Despite Princess Catherine and King Charles appearing healthy after their chemotherapy treatments, Prince William feels enormous pressure for the monarchy's future. The question of who will succeed King Charles, should he be unable to fulfill his duties due to health reasons, has become a topic of speculation and debate. While Prince William is next in line to the throne, there are also discussions about the role of Princess Charlotte and Prince George in the future of the monarchy. He feels compelled to hasten preparations for his children, who will determine the kingdom's future. There have been reports of intense debates among William, Catherine, and King Charles on how to best prepare the next generation to succeed the current one. Based on reliable insider information, the decision on which secondary school Prince George will attend has become a contentious issue. King Charles is particularly serious about Prince George attending Eton, his alma mater. He wishes his grandchildren to follow the family tradition and gain certain adult habits they wouldn't acquire at home, especially since Catherine is still recovering from cancer treatment. In contrast, Prince William didn't share his father's fondness for Gordonstown, where Charles and Prince Philip attended. William made history by becoming the first prominent royal who attend Eton in Berkshire in 1995. Notably, members of the royal family like Princess Diana's brother and father, along with other royal cousins, have attended Eton throughout its history. However, Catherine is not entirely convinced by King Charles's reasons for pushing George and Charlotte to boarding school. Both she and William emphasize raising their children to be good people first and foremost. They believe in the principle of community service and supporting individuals, just as the monarchy was founded on these values. Princess Catherine is said to have recently toured her old stomping grounds, which costs £47,000 a year for the second time in just as many months. She was accompanied by husband William and eldest son George on her return tour, leading to rife speculation on whether the young royal would be attending the school. It is believed Catherine is not a fan of the single sex Eaton school as she absolutely hated her time at an all-girls boarding school in Berkshire. The Princess of Wales hopes her children will spend as much time together as possible, strengthening their bond and remembering they are a family. As the mother of Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Lutz, Catherine consistently emphasizes the importance of family values and teaching her children to value their relationships with one another.